back to a new edition of Education This Week, where we recap on the latest stories and news in the education world. My name is Ravina. Before we get on to the news, I hope you have subscribed to our channel. If not, do it right away and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss an update from us again. Find our social media handles in the description below and make sure you follow us. Now, let's get back to our education news. Manish Sisodia presents the Delhi Education Model at the World Education Summit. Indian Education Minister Manish Sisodia recently presented the Delhi Education Model at the World Education Summit where delegates from over 112 countries were present. The summit was held in London on the 23rd of May where Sisodia shared the history of restoring faith in government schools with education ministers and educationalists from the world over. National School Education Ministers Conference held in Gujarat A two-day conference was held in Gujarat with education ministers and other prominent figures in Indian education to discuss the effective implementation of the national education policy that was first introduced in 2020. Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan mentioned that the centre will also be setting up PM Shri schools focused on preparing students for the future and to set an example of the national education policy. UPSC results announced women secure top three ranks. The UPSC or Union Public Service Commission exam results have been announced on the 30th of May. Out of a total selected 685 candidates, 508 are men and 177 women. Their names have been recommended by the union for appointment under various central services. The top three ranks of these were secured by women. Overall, 10,93,984 people had applied for the exam, out of which 5,8,619 applicants appeared for the preliminary exam. Out of these, 9,214 candidates had qualified for the written examination and finally, 1,824 of them had qualified for the personality test. Prime Minister Narendra Modi too shared a few words congratulating the successful candidates. And that's all for our latest edition of Education This Week. But education keeps moving forward and so must we. 